budget that we gave last week. Again, just as a reminder, this is the organizational chart for Lowndes County. Lowndes County is responsible for funding all of these agencies. However, only the ones in the center that are highlighted in red are the ones that fall directly under the control of the Board of Commissioners. Um, the history of the millage in 2007, um, that is when you added one mill for the industrial authority. The county's portion actually went down a small amount that year. The following year, 1.25 mills was added for the Parks and Recreation Authority and the county's millage again went down. And it has been the same since 2008. Um, the anticipation is for it to remain the same. A comparison um, by funds from 2013 to 2014, your, your general fund goes down 1.28%. Um, the, in your special revenue funds, the commissary fund is up 6.26%. Um, there's no change in drug seizures or the law library or the accommodation excise tax, which is your hotel motel. Intergovernmental grants is showing an increase. That is an anticipated amount of grants that could fluctuate from year to year. Um, the fixed amount that's in there is for the alternative dispute resolution. Jail operations fund goes up 49.45%. Um, that was due to some of the costs that are being paid currently by the general fund being pushed back to that fund. Uh, no change in the drug abuse treatment. 911 communications is down 1.03%. Victim witness was up slightly 37%. Your special services fund, that includes that's your unincorporated only revenues and expenditures are up 6.5%. Um, those include some fixed calls from outside, such as your Valor GIS and your planning commission, um, South Georgia. RDC dues. Um, under your capital projects, SPLOS 4 has um, been paid out this year, and um, so that's eliminated. In SPLOS 5, there is an amount remaining in there, but those are for municipal projects. There's about $800,000 left in the judicial administration and jail construction funds, um, and there's um, still some ongoing projects there. And plus six, you only have half a year left on the collections of that. So primarily you have your debt service and the amounts paid out to the other cities. Under your enterprise funds, water and sewer is up 3.55%. Your landfill is down 54.82%. Um, the only costs that are going on in that fund um, in 2014 are post-closure care for the landfill. Street lighting is up 7.64%. Sanitation, um, that fund was eliminated. Under your internal service funds, equipment maintenance is up slightly 3.31%. Health insurance is up just under 3%. Um, fleet manager is relatively flat and your workers' compensation is up 12.83. Your total of all funds are down 7.28%. If you look at your general fund revenues, your taxes are down 1.32%. That's primarily in your property taxes and your local option sales tax. Um, no change in licenses. Intergovernmental revenues are down about 19%. Charges for service are down 3.67%. Fines and forfeitures are up slightly. And your miscellaneous is up about 10%. Total revenues are down 1.68%. In your expenditures, you'll see that most of those um, are going down. General government, 0.86%. Judicial, 1.36%. Public safety, 3.37%. There is an increase of 4.97% in public works, but if you recall, that absorbs some of those positions from sanitation. Um, health and welfare is down 0.72%. Culture and recreation up 0.06 and housing and development up 0.16. So your total expenditures are down 1.20%. Before any transfers, there's a deficit of $69,121. And after your transfers in and out, that is balanced. <laughs>